Do you know why coaches and consultants have such a hard time selling themselves? They might tell you it's because they'd rather be working with people on real problems, not trying to manipulate them into doing something that may or may not be right for them. After all, who wants their big claim to fame that they're a master manipulator or that they keep attracting the wrong people? It's okay to let go of manipulation. That's just an ancient story told by master manipulators to keep you in your place. We don't need that anymore. So let's get clear on exactly what it will take to attract your next client. Oh, and it'll really help if you've ever had a good bagel. <laughs> well, ooh, ooh, ooh. sorry, back in a minute. So as far as I'm concerned, the hardest thing a coach or consultant ever has to do is translate the benefits of their work into the language that their future clients speak that problem in. We think this has something to do with our words, but words are important, well, in the same way wheels are important on a car. Half a second of pushing the 4,000 pounds of stalled Tesla down the road, and you won't care how shiny the hubcaps are. Welcome to The Visible Authority, where we help people learn the language of client attraction. So here's the problem in a nutshell. We love what we do. We hate having to convince someone they need it. So what if you just stop doing that? Now, whoever invented the bagel knew nothing about this at all, though probably, even though the bagel is the perfect metaphor for marketing. It has a, you know, a crunchy and chewy outside and a soft, warm, doughy inside. The first part, the outside, is what strangers want from you. They want something they can sink their teeth into, something that makes sense. For instance, if you're a coach of any kind, you have a process that works well, that gets results, but probably relies on a certain degree of trust. And where does that come from all of a sudden? I mean, you can try saying, come work with me and I will increase your productivity. You can say that. But those words hit people the same way a teenager hears being told to drive 10 miles under the speed limit. However, what if you could say something they could really take a big bite of? Something that leads to the soft, warm center of what they really need to learn about themselves to get life-changing results. Now, in this world, your new world, the outside of your marketing leads naturally to the inside, the inner circle, if you will, where all the magic happens. But that inside stuff depends on trust and a higher knowledge born of experience. And that doesn't work with most strangers. They need a reason to trust that your center is going to be a valuable space where their transformation can safely take place. It doesn't mean you can't attract them by sheer force of will or charisma. A lot of people try to do that. But that's just as manipulative as all the other stuff you already don't want to do to let the outside have its place and to let it lead naturally to the inside, this is the path of attraction. You're not forcing it to take place. You're allowing it to take place. So maybe that means the initial marketing of the productivity expert is based on solving one chewy, crunchy problem that suddenly leaves another human being on a soft, inviting path to a radically changed life. So, What's a chewy problem? One you can really sink your teeth into and that goes down easy. Well, if someone told me I could get back half a day, five days a week with a simple tweak to something I'm already doing, I'd probably talk to that person. <laughs> Time to take three more flights a week, oh my goodness. And in having that particular problem solved, my life would change based on the higher knowledge someone else was able to make real for me. Can you do that? Can you make what you do real for someone? Think about it, that's your most important job. That's not even marketing. That's creating a better life for everyone who needs that. Oh, and one last thing, this is just about bagels. We love them, but we wouldn't love them nearly as much if all they were was the crunchy outside or the soft warm inside or cream cheese, come to think of it. But, uh, hmm. We'll leave that for another day. I'm suddenly very hungry for no apparent reason. I'm Steve Washer. See you next time on The Visible Authority. <music>